Should Donovan Mitchell's trade value be the same as what the Jazz got for Rudy Gobert? Different strokes for different folks, right? So Rudy Gobert garnered what the market gave him that day from Minnesota. Got a hell of a deal. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, New York Knicks have a lot of assets, my man. They have a lot of assets, Mad Dog. And I'm going to go through a couple of things that have happened as it relates to free agency for the Knicks. Because I, I, Nick fans, I wonder where Leon Rose is in the process of trying to build this through the draft, right? Because Nick, it seems like every year when there's a big free agent that comes up, Nick fans are literally like, we need it, we need it. If it was Dame, if it was KD or Kyrie, and none of those worked. It didn't work. If it was LeBron James, just let me remind people what LeBron James was quoted to say in Oakley's, Charles Oakley's book, The Last Enforcer, right, on the fact that James Dolan didn't really shake Charles Oakley's hand after the fact he got mm -hmm. ejected from MSG, all that stuff. That's why I'm never going to go to New York, right? Mm -hmm. So when you... and. It, that talks about way back in the day. Mm -hmm. So when that could have been him, D-Wade, they could have formulated that team. So if you're a Nick fan, you're looking at eight tra tradable assets. I'm not giving up R.J. Barrett, but I'm looking at Emmanuel quickly. I'm looking at O.B. Toppin. I'm looking at some of these pieces and saying, we could put together a package. So, yeah, I, I do think Donovan Mitchell, for a guy that's been an all-star several times, mm -hmm. for a guy who they were building around this franchise. Rudy Gobert is a key piece. I understand that multiple time defensive player of the year, but he also got exploited in these past, the, the, actually the last two playoff series they played in. Can't really have him on the floor at the end of a game. Can't make free throws. Can't, can't make free score. throws. And he gets exploited in all ball screen action, right? Jason Kidd, Dallas went small. It was an issue. Now I do like him as an anchor defensively what it brings to the table, but by no means, don't get it twisted. This team was built around Donovan Mitchell. So yes, I do think he can garner the same assets. I'm not saying over than that, but a comparable asset set to Rudy Gobert. Well, unlike Le LeBron, I think Donovan Mitchell would want to come here in the worst way. He's, his father works for the Mets. He, yep, director of player personnel. You know, he went to he was Greenwich. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think Mitchell would come. I don't think he'd have any problem coming here. Now, I think you're going to have to give up R.J. Barrett if you want to get him. I don't think it, he's a great GM. He made that great trade with the Celtics. With You know, he got the Allens and the Bar Garnets and the Paul Pierce's. Danny Ainge is not giving you Donovan Mitchell for a Quigley and a couple of draft picks. So if you want him, he's going to want Barrett back. So you have to make that decision. If you're Leon Rose, do you give up a guy who's got a chance to be a heck of a player in Barrett? I'll let Jay handle how good he could be. You give him up and draft picks. You're going to have to give up some draft picks. You give him up to bring Mitchell in, who's very, very good. Was he a borderline top 15 player in the NBA? He's very, very good. You're not winning a championship with him. And him and Brunson would be fun. They'd be small in that backcourt, but they'd be good. They'd be a borderline, borderline second-round playoff team. Well, I mean, do you, do you, that's good. For the Knicks, it's a That's good. For the Knicks, it's a plus. <laughs> they made the playoffs one time since 2014. Fair point. That's good. I'll, I'll take a second-round playoff team for the New York Knicks. I think they would take it, too. I'm not sure I'll give up R.J. Barrett, though. I think I'll try to compliment with draft picks and other assets before I'll give up R.J. Barrett. Another thing that makes it interesting, Danny Ainge does like Tyler Hero a lot which makes it interesting for Miami. Wow. You know, they lack draft picks. Correct. Like Tyler Hero is a really interesting piece that should be considered when thinking about what you talk about. And Hero, he's good. And he's better than anybody the Knicks have except for Barrett. If you want him, here's the question. If Ange, if Ange picks up the phone and says, hey, Leon, you want Donovan Mitchell? Here's what's gonna, you're going to have to include R.J. Barrett. What does Jay Williams if he's, what does Jay Williams do if he's Leon Rose? Hang up the phone. You can't talk him out of it. Yeah, so R.J. Barrett has to be included in the package for Mitchell. What do you do? Donovan Mitchell's 25. R.J. Barrett's 22. I take Donovan Mitchell. So you'd make the trade? I would. Okay. I think I would, I, too. I, I think Donovan Mitchell is a guy on the verge of being a superstar. And I, I don't use that term a lot. Uh, I only think there's about five or six superstars in the NBA. He's in that range that could penetrate that for me. Now, will he get there? I'm not sure. But he is a blue-collar person that fits into the DNA of who the Knicks are. He would buy into that culture. And New York he likes. Yeah, and that's a foundation that I think is worth building around. Right. I think I'd make that trade, too. About a month ago, Stephen A. Smith said that the Knicks don't deserve Donovan Mitchell. Do you guys agree with that? Obviously, he's a huge Knicks fan, but we know what's happened in New York. Why, because James Dolan doesn't like yes. Donovan Mitchell? Uh, 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 Stephen, get over it. Where is he? <laughs> Put him on. <laughs> I mean, if you're asking me if I were Donovan Mitchell, where would I rather be? I'd much rather be down in Miami, frankly. Well, I'd much rather be part of the Pat Riley era. Right. I would, right. Well, they got a better team. Like with Jimmy Butler. Yes, 1,000%. You got a chance to win a championship there. You're not winning a championship here. 
But, I mean, I don't think he is not going to want to come to New York because he's going to be afraid of Dolan or the Nick or the media. I think he's going to like it here. He understands it. He gets it. He grew up here. His father with the Mets, as you said. So, from that standpoint, he won't be afraid. That's battle number one, bringing a guy in. Mm -hmm. So, I'm with, uh, I'm with Jay. If it's Barrett and Picks, I'd make the trade. But Ainge is going to want Barrett. I don't think you're getting him without him. So, if that is doable, I'd pull the trigger. Also, don't sleep on the Lakers. I mean, I know they only have two picks to right. work, but that's an interesting. Never sleep with them. Right. Yeah, because a lot of stuff will come off the books for Utah and Russell Westbrook after a year. It'd be a lot to incur, but it then will come off the books. Yeah, so, so that would help in two years. Right. right. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.